this week we're going to talk about just like continue our series we're in the series of leaving uh, uh, the Jesus way who wants to leave the Jesus way I want to be like Jesus that's our goal be like Jesus to give glory to God not because people can see you but they can see God in you amen and give glory to God and let's let's last week we talked about uh, God money and possessions and this week we're going to talk about anxiety okay but before talking anxiety I want to give you some numbers that's important things and please pay, pay attention to these numbers according to the US census uh, in the United States House of Birth Survey nearly one-third of adults 32.3 percent 32.3 percent reported anxiety and depression symptoms in 2023. 130, 130 in the United States reported, reported anxious, be anxious or uh, depression in 2023. 130. In worldwide, anxiety disorders are most, most common mental illness in the world right now. Rough, uh, th uh, 301 million people an estimate of 4% of the global population have anxiety disorders. Not just anxiety, but disorders. That's a lot, no? According to Healthline.com, here's some anxiety triggers in your life. First one, health issues. People get sick, they get anxiety. It's, it, it, talk about the U.S., that's a lot because it's a lot of money if you get you. If you enter in the ambulance, go to the hospital, it's 3,000 bucks just for the ride. It's a little bit expensive than the Uber, okay? <laughs> but health issues is one of the triggers of anxiety. Also medications, taking medications bring anxiety to your life. 31, caffeine. <laughs> yeah, caffeine, give me coffee. Okay, caffeine. According to uh, the review trusted source, Drinking about five cups of coffee increases anxiety. Five cups increase anxiety. Who, who, who drinks, who drink, who drink five cups here a day? Rena? Rena? Rosa? Oh, come on guys. Okay, I'm just here. I am the only one here. Five cups, come on. I know you. God sees you, okay? But caffeine, it's one of the high heat risks to bring anxiety. A 20-year-old adult over two-year period consuming iner uh, in, um, Red Bull energy drinks increase anxiety. Who drinks it here? Red Bull, uh, what else? Monster. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's increase anxiety in your life. Fifth thing, negative thinking. That's, that's a point. When you are upset or frustrated, the words you say to yourself can trigger greater feelings of anxiety. It's not me, that's healthline.com, okay? Financial concerns. When money is not enough, we got anxiety. We are living in anxiety. Worries about saving money, having debt can trigger anxiety. Expected bills or money fears triggers also bring anxiety. Also social events, people get excited being around people around. Conflict, conflict, relationship problems, arguments, disagreements, conflicts can trigger anxiety. Stress. Stress can also lead to behaviors like skipping meals, drinking alcohol, we're not doing that, not sure, amen? Or not getting enough sleep. Are you not sleeping enough? Maybe you get excited. We got there. Also, performance or being here, people get ex anxiety, and also some personal triggers like uh, we have a, like a bad situation in the past, and you just leave that that moment make you anxiety and the anxiety come in your heart again. Now, some symptoms of anxiety. Most common symptoms of anxiety include. Incontrollable worry. You can't control what you think. We are worrying about everything and every time. Fear. Muscle tension. A rapid heart rate. 
difficult sleeping or insomnia, difficult concentration, physical discomfort, uh, tingling sensation, your fingers or hands, restlessness, feeling on the edge, or you got so much irrit uh, irritability. 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 Anger. Yes. I know, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning. Medical problems causes, ca ca causing by anxiety, according to myoclinic.org. Heart disease is the first one. Second one, diabetes. Thyroid problems, thyroid problems. Respirato uh, respiratory or disorders, drugs misuse, med medicines, chronic pain in your head, could be anxiety, or rare tumors or cancer through your body caused by anxiety. Exi anxiety is the first and most common illness in the world right now. Do you know why? Why do you think? Because it's a crazy world. Yeah, we are in the crazy world ever. And it's getting worse. God, okay, that's a good news. It's, crazy. it's getting worse. And that's a good news because when it gets worse, Jesus is coming. Amen? Yeah. Amen for that. But today we're going to talk about anxiety. And the Bible t t taught us, Jesus taught us in the ser sermon of, uh, on mountain about anxiety. And today I want to I wanna just go through this Bible verse with you. Please open your Bible. Matthew and the chapter 6 and verse 25. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25. We're going to pray. But before I pray, let me speak with you right now. In today's message, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. In everything I'm going to say, everything God put in my heart to share with you, be honest with yourself. Don't think about all oh, that this message is for that person. No. Today, be, be honest with yourself. Because maybe you're living some situation in your life because you're facing so much anxiety in your heart. Amen? Are you with me? Can we do that? Yeah. Amen. Jesus, I pray, Ephesians 1, that the spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation speak with us. Bring us from heaven the word that you want for us. I pray that the Holy Spirit can work in our hearts, in our minds. In our lives, Jesus. And change us from, for to your glory, for uh, giving glory to you, to shine your love, to shine your grace. Just make us bold today, Jesus, to understand ourselves. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Your Bible open, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. In the Bible, I'm going to read there because my is different version here, but I'm going to read there for you. That is why I tell you not to worry about every day. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food? Even your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. For your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add one single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lily, lily, lilies, lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work and make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers and they... And that are here today and throw thrown uh, into the fire tomorrow. 
He will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things. Say, what will we, what will we eat? And what will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Today's trouble is enough for today. Life is hard. Welcome to the world. Life is not easy. Life is getting hard and hard and hard. This generation, generation Alpha, Beta, Gen Z, they are facing, they are fighting the worst times ever in history. Why? Because it's getting to the close of the days. It's getting to the day of the Lord, close to the day of the Lord. And it's going to be worse and worse. Life is hard. But it's not for our little ones. It's also for hard to us, for us. It's hard to be a Christian these days. It's hard to share your faith when sometimes we don't know how people are going to receive or not. It's hard to live according with the Bible because you see everyone around living differently. But we are called to live the Jesus way. We are called to be a life like Jesus. In a life like Jesus, I don't see Jesus anxious for nothing. I read the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, how many, several times. I never saw Jesus saying, facing anxious, like, what is happening? He is like, sick with anxiety, never. And there is a secret here, you're going to get to the end. There's a secret why Jesus fought the, the fight and he won this way, okay? Let's go back to verse 25. Therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life. I think we have this slide. Don't worry about your life. It's hard to not worry about our life. Because you wake up in the morning. You maybe think about you and maybe think about what you're going to do. And maybe you think about the thing. And sometimes you need to deal with something in your day that brings some anxiety to you. And you start your day already anxious. And your heart's already shaking. It's like, what is going to do? What is going to happen? Don't worry about your life. That's so hard. That I, I, I was like, what is Jesus talking about? He gave his life and life more abundant, abundantly, right? And I say, don't worry about your life. What he's saying is, look at the birds. Have you all watched the birds? I love to watch the birds. They are amazing. But they don't start up in barns. They don't worry about tomorrow. They wake up in the morning, do the, his, their work. They come back to our nest and finish the day. They're a routine that the things God put in their heart, in their lives, and they're just living on it. But us, sometimes we're living today and thinking tomorrow. Let me tell you something. If you're living today and thinking tomorrow, you're not living today and maybe you're not living tomorrow. That's the truth. Because the first thing that anxiety brings to us is heart issues, according to this website. It's diabetes. It's illness. It's making you sick. If you're thinking about just tomorrow, 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 and worrying about too much about tomorrow, let me tell you something. Maybe tomorrow is not coming to you. Why? Because you're not supposed to think about just tomorrow. You're supposed to live today. According to Jesus' way. I remember the disciples. I can, you can read in the Bible the disciples. 
every day when they are preaching say because the day of the Lord it's so near for them the day of the Lord could be like in a click just one second from there they are living and they are preaching they are just living the Jesus way on that moment not tomorrow because tomorrow church Jesus could come right now and that would be amazing right because we were planning our Monday tomorrow and our week start and just say come down I'm gonna give you this day day by day your mana and mana mana your mana that's your your mana live today eat today tomorrow is another day right but our thinking our thoughts is too much in front of us and we got excited I think it's just me right now you you are good I'm, I think me I think too much about tomorrow so what are you going? I'm not saying that you need don't need to plan your life I'm thinking about worrying too much about you do I'm not thinking because that's biblical Prover Proverbs 16 1 2 and 3 make plans but the last word come from the mouth of God make plans plan your life if you don't have your life plan it something wrong but don't worry God is gonna take care of you look the birds God's saying look the birds I take care of them the little ones I take care of all the birds they're fine and the Bible says aren't you worth more than the birds I'm speak with you that maybe you're thinking I'm not worthy I'm not worthy of God's care about me let me tell something the Bible says that he cares about you don't let the lies of the Satan get inside of your heart God cares about you it's biblical aren't you worthy more than them Jesus say, hey, what do you think? I think God's not taking care of your life, your new business. Do you think God's not taking care of your, your job? Maybe you're losing your, your job. Hey, we serve a God that cares about us. Why are we worried? Why are you worried about? We have the God that created everything. Look for your brother or sister outside of you. Look, 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 for, look, for, look for a brother. Look, look, look around. Can you see how amazing, beautiful, handsome the people in your side is? Maybe by faith, okay? Okay, I know. <laughs> by faith. Not by sign, by faith, okay? But this person in your side, around you, he or she was created by God. God's hand created him. God's touched his life. Do you think God's going to just let you go? God cares about his children. God cares about you. Aren't you worried more than the birds? God created you from his hands. Everything God spoke. Be light. Be night. Be land. Be ocean. Everything. Be the animal. Everything was created by word. But you? God put his hands on you. Because he cares more about you than everything this he created in this earth. And now, because we are children of God. He cares so much. And he asking you, why are you worried about this? Why are you about worry about your life? Don't you worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be right. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Philosopher, Bob Myler. Don't you worry about a thing. Three little birds. Yeah, and that's so true. And let me tell you something. This phrase in that song, it's biblical. Don't worry about a thing. 
everything is going to be all right. Do you trust this word, church? Amen. 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 Consider the birds of sky. Aren't you worthy? Aren't you worth more than them? Can you, by worrying, by thinking too much about tomorrow and get sick, can you add one moment to your life? Tomorrow I need to pay the bills. I hope you have a plan. Tomorrow I need to pay the bills. If the bills are coming, how are we going to do? Uh, nah, nah. I hope you plan these payments beforehand. But let me tell something. Don't worry. Live today. Live today for the glory of Jesus Christ. Keep your mind clear. Remember when we, with one of the causes of the anxiety? Speak or think negatively. Do you know that the, the let, me, let me read, I'm not saying anything from me. Dr. Fred Lusky is from the Stanford University. He said a human being can have around 6,000 thoughts, 6,000 thoughts per day. Daily, you are around 6,000 thoughts a day, 60,000, 60, 60,000. And 90% of these thoughts are repetitive, uh, repetitive thoughts from yesterday. We have this powerful thing called brain. And if you're using 90%, think about yesterday. And thinking about it, thinking about it. And you know what it is? You're worrying too much. And from this, all these 60,000 thoughts... Around 90% is repetitively, okay? Is rep repeating your life. 90%. But 80% are negative thoughts. One of, the, one of the main causes of anxiety? Negative thoughts. We think so much. In negative way. God calls you to do something. And you start saying. But God. If. Church. When you start if. It's something negative back. After this. But if it's not working. But if it's something wrong happening. But if it's not. Getting a conclusion. This plan I have. And if, 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 if 80% of 60,000 thoughts you have every day are negative. And God is asking you, why you are so worried about these things? Don't ask, what are you going to eat? What are you going to eat? What are you going to drink? What are you going to wear? What is going to happen? Oh God, and now? No, don't worry your life. Don't you worry about life. God have you in his hands. He's taking care of you. But we are human beings. And I know we have some weaknesses. And we are thinking negatively. Too much. To the point that we are getting sick. And our bodies are responding. Tumors. Cancer. Disorders, mental disorders, depression. It's not me, church. It's numbers. It's all around. The first and most common illness in the world right now is anxiety. And maybe you are living, maybe I live, maybe we are living this way. But we are not called to do and to live in anxiety. We are called to do in Jesus' way. How we live in Jesus' way? With freedom. We live day by day with freedom and obedience to the Father. Amen. Can you add one moment to your life about when we worry too much? No. Nobody knows the day. Nobody knows when they're going to have their tickets. And number 34. Poof. Nobody knows. We never know. But let me tell something to you. 
You don't need to make things early in your life. God has planned for the day of the you're going to encounter him. You're, you're not going to die, okay? We're not going to die. We're going to be promoted. Amen? We don't die. We, pr we, are pr we have promotion. Amen? Remember that, oh, somebody died. No, he was, pro he was children of God. He was promoted. Yeah, that's amazing. Because people, get, they grieve, grieve so much. Oh, somebody died. It was a good person. Oh, we're going to be now. No. This person was promoted and he's living the life. Just enjoy the good moments, good memories in that day. Okay? When I was, the day I will be promoted, please do a party. Okay? Barbecue, Brazilian barbecue. Some songs playing. Say, Pastor Gee was good. Oh, they are amazing. He was, he did that. He, he was promoted. Okay? Do a party. Can you add one moment to your life? By thinking too much about you. No. We just need to trust in God. And why you do you worry about clothes? Observe, uh, observe the wild flowers. The lilies, lilies. The wild flowers. Even Solomon never dressed like the lilies. Because God takes care of the wild flower. Aren't you worth more than a flower? What I'm going to wear. Don't worry. God has you in his hands. He cares about you. Last week we talked about money. And sometimes we worry about too much about money. Don't worry. God has us in his hands. Amen. In the verse 30 the Bible says. If that's how God clothes. Clo uh, Clothes, uh, clothes, clothes, the grass of field, which today, to today, and tomorrow are going to be thrown in the fire. Won't he do so much more for you? And he add, you of little faith. If for me, that's the key. Faith. We worry because we don't trust enough. Because if you trust enough in God, there's nothing you're going to take your sleep away. There's nothing is going to take your peace away. Because he is the prince of peace. If you have faith in Jesus, you're not living in anxiety, but you're living in Jesus' way. All you of little faith. Now, we, I remember when Jesus was in, the, bo in the, the boat and the star came and he was sleeping. The storm came and he was sleeping. And the disciple was completely like gone. We're going to die. Nobody cares about you. Look that man sleeping in the boat. Look that. What is he doing? And the Bible says Jesus woke up and say, wind stop, storm stop. And the disciple, the Bible says, the disciple says, who is this man that the, 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 the wind obeys, obeys him and the storm obeys him? Who is this man? And Jesus says, hey, why did you do that? You were supposed to calm the storm. I was sleeping. Oh, little faith. We sometimes pass through storms. We sometimes pass through difficult, uh, hard times, difficult times. Because we don't speak the way we're supposed to speak. Because we have so little faith. Hi. My good, my head is hurting. I have so much headache today. Do you want a medicine? Medicine? Can you please pray for me first? If it's not working, that's not your problem. It's God's problem. But can you pray? This morning, prayer woke up and said, why, dad, why? I, my head is, is hurting. And I say, okay, let's pray. Jesus, could you please heal Pedro? Amen. And that's it. We don't need to be that, that much, so just that. And he's here around. No pain anymore. 
I didn't give a ibuprofen to him. I don't give a paracetamol for him. No. I just give a prayer to him. Because we just need to trust in Jesus. Because Jesus said, lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Are you of little faith? And we are so sick sometimes. Remember when I ask you? Be honest with yourself. Be honest. Because sometimes we, we, put, we dress ourselves with something that we are not living with. You are smiling, but inside you are crying. You are saying everything's fine, but in your heart is broken. You look around and say, hey, buddy, how are you doing? Okay. But the truth is, you're not okay. You need to be honest with yourself. Because we are not supposed to live in this place of darkness, depression, anxiety. We're supposed to, to live in Jesus' way. With freedom, joy, and peace in our hearts. Amen. Are you with me? Aren't you worth more than the white flowers? You of little faith. And Jesus say again, don't worry. And Bob Marley completely say about a thing. What are you going to eat? What do, you, do you know what, what did you eat four days ago? Did you know? What do you eat, right? Don't worry tomorrow. You're going to eat. What are you going to drink? What are you going to wear? The Bible says in the verse 20, 32, because this kind of worry, this kind of life worrying is for unbelievers. Do you believe in God? Come on, church. Do you believe in God? Yes. Wake up. Now give somebody. Hey, great, wake up. Do you believe in God? Yes. I do believe in God. You do believe in God. Why we are worrying about tomorrow? Why 30, one third of the adults in the United States are worried about tomorrow? Let's say we're in the church, we're a good church. Why half of us are worrying about tomorrow? Why? Because we have so little faith. Don't worry about. This is what unbelievers are worrying about. Do you know why? Because they don't have faith. But for us that we live by faith and not by sight, we don't need to worry about. And we just need to open our hearts and say, God, I put everything in your hands and I trust in you. Just put it in the hands of God. Let God take care of you. Don't worry about these things. Don't you worry about your life. God got your back. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Because unbelievers, they are worried about this. Not us. Not us. Look for your brother on your side and say, not you. Say, say, not you. Come on, church. You can listen to me. Say for your brother. Say, not you. Not you. Not you, bro. Unbelievers are worried about these things. Not you, sister and brother. Not you. Not me. Because we trust in God. And we must trust in God for every step. <clears throat> every, sorry, every step in our lives. Amen? Amen. 33. But. I am now the Bible's in but. But. Seek first the kingdom of God. Instead. You decide about worrying, about worrying, and get sick and anxious. Oh, we're going to have, what's going to happen? I tell Natasha. Okay, I'm going to, she's in the room? No, okay, I'm going to the secret. <laughs> it's just between us. <laughs> I just get it. No, she knows that. I want more kids. Okay? I want more kids around me. At least more too. But she doesn't. She doesn't. And she worry about like, it's so hard to raise a kid these days. It's so hard. The economy, it's not working to us. Like it's financially impossible. And I say to her, 
Who's going to take care of your children? You or God? Who's going to take care of right now with Pedro and Sophie? We are here just like it. Support of God. Because God cares about them. And God takes care of all them. And that's why Christianity, it's... Number is getting down. Because couples, they want to have just one kid. And maybe no kids. Because they worry too much about the ground. But if I lost my job, God is going to be no open doors. God is going to take care of you. But if it is schools, and God is going to take care of us. We need to just trust in our mighty God. But instead, being this side of worrying, 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 Jesus said, but instead you worry about you and about your life and about tomorrow. Instead, but seek first the kingdom of God. Question, you do know when it has a question, I'm expecting answers. What do you think, me, what do you think means seeking the kingdom of God? Come on, church. Live in the Jesus way. Period. Live in the Jesus way. It's like we are in this earth, but we are not of this worth, earth. We are just like a, the words of pilgrims. Oh, I get in bad English. Girl. Pilgrims. We are just passing through this place. This place is not our house. This place are not our destiny. It's just a place we are passing through and go to heaven. Amen. Don't worry about this earth. Don't worry about these things. But trust in God. Seek God. Live the way. Go like Jesus. And you know what the Bible says? We know what Jesus says. Not the Bible. Do you know what Jesus says? Do you know what God says? And all these things will be added to you when we leave the Jesus way not worrying about tomorrow all these things will be added to you isn't that amazing church and now we're just why I spend so many time worrying about tomorrow all these things are going to be added to me all these things are going to be added to me do you trust that the Bible is the word of God? Okay, there's three people that trust. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's not some or one. It's all these things will be added to you. Don't worry about your life. And I speak to me, Guilherme, don't you worry about your life. Don't you worry about tomorrow. Don't you worry. Have plans, but don't worry. Have plans, but don't worry. Let God take care of you. Amen? Are you with me? Yeah. All these things are going to be added to you. In verse 34, and we're going to finish. Therefore, don't you worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow will worry about you itself. And the encouragement, the encouragement comes to the end. Each day has enough trouble it's on. That's amazing, church. Do you know why? Because the tomorrow, the trouble is going to be another one. It's not going to be the same. It will be another trouble. Don't worry. We're going to face, we're going to fight, and we're going to win because we're going to win because Jesus won the battle. Amen? We are with Jesus. We're living the Jesus way. Don't worry about tomorrow. You remember what I asked you? Be honest with yourself. Now came the question. How many times this year until August 4th you realize that we are anxious because we are worrying too much? Or even today, I don't know, maybe today. Just like life is like a. We just need to trust in God. Oh, you of little faith. How can we 
win the battle against anxiety. This this part of the this part of the this sermon here, some Bibles come with the, the title, the cure, the cure for anxiety. Where is the cure? In your faith in Jesus Christ. If you trust, be ready. If you trust, be ready. We don't need anything else. If you trust. But now you need to be honest with yourself. Are you trusting God enough to put everything in God's hand? Even your anxiety right now in your heart. Be honest with yourself. 